hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while i know you guys have missed me i missed you guys i just had a little problem concerning my colors and my screen and how to figure it out just so that i can record very good videos for you guys to learn and all i mean i've been gone for a long while i know and i'm very sorry and i hope you guys will forgive me by me giving you this particular video just so that you learn how to go about color grading an image like this i didn't shoot this image i got this image from a friend and i want to continue this trend where i take images from people and i just run them through either capture one or lightroom i know this year i mentioned i'll be doing a lot of capture one videos but um, I, I mean i was tempted to do lightroom for this particular one i did a capture one when i was having that free live session on my zoom and i did a lightroom version for it and the lightroom version actually caught my attention i felt like i needed to share the information to you guys who weren't able to join in on the live so if for anything else i'll leave my instagram handle down in the description box below you can just go check it up um follow me and just be on the lookout for my free live sessions on my story when i post up those zoom you know links to learn something new for free all right so before before i get into this video i mean this year i said i wanted to get to 10k subscribers i'm still at seven it hasn't improved in as much as i have put out a lot of capture one videos so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe share this video leave a like and let's just jump right into what we want to learn today this image was shot at an r5 somewhere around 4 7 pm in ghana I got this image from a friend new shots i'm going to leave his handle down in the description box go check him out it's a very good photographer i don't know if it's a ghanaian photographer or a nigerian photographer but most of the time he's in ghana so i'm just going to claim him for ghanaians a very good upcoming photographer one over 640 seconds at f2.8 iso 100 shot at 17 millimeter focal length with the 2470 f2.8 sigma art lens first things first crop right straighten this out crop the image make it look okay then i come to transform hit on auto then there you have it i can fix them all right just move it in and yeah there we have this lens correction enabled and everything we have that checked i think that that fixed itself when you when you hit on the transform i mean the auto transform usually you guys know whenever i come into lightroom i like to change my profile from adobe um, color to camera standard but during the time at which i was teaching this i had one of the um one of those who joined in telling me they wanted me to edit in adobe color so i'm just going to leave this in adobe color and play around with the values over here first of my exposure goes down i mean you guys know i love bringing down my exposures right just to make it look beautiful keeping my contrast reduce the highlights a little bit open up the shadows and the blacks also i think somewhere here should be fine and my highlights can go down mm, i like this with regards to temperature i mean i would want to reduce it from 5400 i just want to introduce some blues in this as when it comes to dark melanin skin colors blues are more of i don't know an add-on to making them look very sweet I'm going to reduce my saturation i'll explain soon then increase my vibrance i mean i have a whole video on explaining why or explain the difference between vibrance and saturation i come into my calibration and move i mean let's let's relax the, on the calibration for now let's jump into our tone cave here in our tone cave right um i like to go into the point curve and create a slight contrast curve open up the mid-tones and drop the shadows a little bit i 
forgot to push my dehaze slider. This is what adds contrast for me. It just pushes the blacks, right? Take a look at the histogram over here. When I move the dehaze slider and when I move the contrast slider, the dehaze moves both to the highlights and the whites and the blacks and the midtones towards the black region. Contrast rather pushes the blacks and the whites apart, which is not what I'm looking out for. I'm looking out for this. And that makes sense for me. It adds even some color to the image. Okay. Don't care. If check. Then what else? Come back to don't care very soon. And the HSL, hue, saturation, luminance, and yeah. what I want to tackle first is the luminance. This is where all the magic happens. I want to even out the tones on the skin with regards to the highlights and the mid-tones and the blacks. So I'm just going to drag this down. Right? Just so that you can see how close where the highlighted area was has gotten some color there now. Same, I'll do same with the yellows also. Then reds. Within the skin, we have reds and oranges. So whatever I do to the oranges, I'll probably do it to the reds. Just to be sure. Blues, I can find some blues in the outfit and I want it toned down. So all the way down should be fine. The reason why I'm pulling the purple and the magenta all the way up is because I'm going to remove them here. I mean, they're not in the image, but I don't need to see them at all. And the blues also, I'm just going to bring it down. Then I can see a lot of aqua in this. Alright. And a lot of greens. I might probably find the greens in the outfit. Take away the yellows. Because one of the you know one of the people who joined said we should take away the yellows i mean we started off by taking away the yellows and we built the grid from there so taking away the yellows sends the image to this this is before taking away the yellows and after taking it away it makes the wall white but then again it affects some of the skin um, color also take a look at the head area All right so I'm just going to keep it in a little bit or let me just do what I did and take away the yellows reduce the saturation of the oranges a little bit just because we've reduced the luminance and that's off the reds so I have my image looking like this now I'll come into my hues and make the reds look more red by moving the orange towards the red and balancing it out with the red so i move the red towards the orange so that i have a balanced color between orange and red with the green i'm going to move it towards the cyan All right so somewhere there should be fine mm, 37 is okay then i'll move the blue towards the aqua In these ones towards red whether they are in there or not removing them now I'll come back to my tone curve this is where i want to stylize something in my parametric curve i can also add an adjustment layer in terms of exposure so i have the exposure here the exposure tone here in the basic tab i can have one in the point curve and I can also have one in the parametric curve. So I'm going to add a little bit of contrast in the parametric curve. I move this to 10. All right, and we'll move the shadows down to 10. And open up the darks a little bit. I mean, just to show a lovely backside over here. And what next? Um, with respect to color grading, so let's do some color grading. Let's come to the shadows. So let's come to the shadows. Um, what am I looking at? Um, somewhere here. I want to introduce some cyan into the shadows. Right, just a little bit, a third bit. 
and that's fine i'm moving to the midtones and warm up the midtones okay. and then yellowish orange just a third bit right then we move towards our highlights warm up the highlights also so i have my image looking like this then i remember doing something here in the blues i want to introduce some blue haze into my shadows over here okay, so i'm going to create a point curve one here on the highlights one here in the midtones and one here in the shadows and another one here just so that the adjustment isn't as drastic as possible so yeah there we have this this is how the blue is i mean bringing out the red in her skin right after this i'm going to play with the calibration i i mean i skipped the calibration to the tone curve but most of the time the reason why i have my calibration right after the basic tab is i usually use that to fix the color changes with respect to the camera choice i'm using so i'm going to keep this up plus d just to introduce more reds in there and as you can see it's within the shadows so it's going to affect most of the shadows when we look at the color grading over here we introduce some cyan blues instead of cyan greens within the shadows so if i want to balance it out a little bit have total control over it i'm going to push in some magenta which in turn will add some red to our set image bump up my red here by changing the hue of the green primary then add more color i feel like the color is too much when i can come back here i can always come back here and reduce stuff so this is where we started from with regards to color grading and fixing the image in the direction we wanted and this is where we've ended up at right, so if i'm to send this into photoshop i'm going to you know skin adjustment skin correction maybe match the face to the bald head area just so that i have an even tonal um color covering the whole image right and uh, yeah i think that's that so what i can tell you guys with regards to color grading in lightroom or even in capture one is always figure out the problem you want to get rid of take a look at the image and see if the problem you want to get rid of will influence the image in the right way then you do that like i said when we started this live session i mean when i started the live session and somebody asked me to take away the yellows we immediately took away the yellows that's where everything started from by taking away the yellows and gradually building up the grid from there i mean if you were there you would have enjoyed a very um, live session where you keep where you get to ask me a lot of questions but you weren't so if you want to enjoy that make sure you visit my instagram follow me and be on the lookout for one of these free live sessions then you also get to enjoy whenever i edit people's work also if you're someone who is interested in me editing one of your works you can um i mean send some of the images to my email which will be down in the description box below i still sell my presets with regards to lightroom i'm developing one for capture one very soon so for those who have been waiting for capture one presets it's coming out very very soon i mean i've been working a lot and as much as i've been away and me having problems with recording i've been working a lot right so you see that's coming up very very soon i know you guys will be supportive so make sure you share this video which is very important to me subscribe to the channel if you haven't leave a like if you if, if you enjoy this content and leave down the comment section box below if you have any questions at all with regards to whatever it is we've done here i'll get right to it if you have any raw files to share for the next video the email is in the description box below the guy who shot this i'm going to leave his instagram below check him out he's a very great photographer based in ghana and sometimes leaves to nigeria but i mean i'll say he's ghanaian okay thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video peace